Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this sponsored tutorial, I'm going to be going over Weglot, which is a plugin that's able to translate your website into multiple languages. And it says right here on their site, make your website multilingual. So they use translation through API that integrates seamlessly into your website and delivers it in any language or a number of languages that you can choose from. So there's some things that I wanted to go over before we dive into this plugin, and that would be that you can actually see which people are viewing your website from different countries. So if you were to use something like Google Analytics or some kind of analytics that you have integrated with your website, you can see where different viewers are throughout the world that might be viewing your website. So I think it can be a real game changer when you're trying to translate your website in multiple languages to reach a more global audience. And I think that's the direction the world's going in is a more global audience for different websites. I think very rarely are sites only dedicated to a specific country nowadays. Most of them, I would say, are going to be a multilingual or have a global reach when they're trying to reach an audience. It just makes sense because you want to reach as many people as possible to have a multilingual website. So it's a really good idea to integrate this plugin if you're thinking about how to have translations on your website that are automatic. So a few other things that I wanted to cover about it before we dive in. It is a plugin that's compatible with all different WordPress themes and plugins. I believe it's compatible with every single WordPress theme and plugin out there from what I've read. And there are currently over 30,000 WordPress websites that use this plugin as of this time. And it does have more five-star ratings than any other one within the WordPress.org plugin directory right here. It has 758 at the time of this video. And I will leave this link below to the Weglot plugin information here. And you can watch this short video if you want to learn a little more or read the description here to learn more about it. I'll link to that below. And I'll also have a link to their website here as well. There's lots of different features and things that you can do with this plugin. And one of the best things about it is you can actually get started with a free plan and it's a free trial plan for up to 2000 words. So if we go over here, you can see right here, it says free one translated language for 2000 words on a website. And it gives you more information about that as well here. So you can get started for free, try it out and see if it's something that you like and then go from there. Now, for me, this is an interesting plugin because I've always debated trying to have more of an outreach to the Brazilian crowd, which is Portuguese speaking, because my wife is actually from Brazil. And it's an interesting thing that I've always talked to her about. Maybe she used to start a website and she did a lot of translating in the past. She actually used to work for Google doing manual translations for ads for Google.com and their website for their ads that they display on Google or through Google, they need to make sure translations were accurate. So she was manually translating these ads. And I always think it's an interesting concept to start a website in Portuguese and take advantage of the fact that I know how to do some SEO and make websites. And she can do a lot of the content creation in Portuguese. We've talked about this before, and maybe this would be a bridge or a way to bridge that gap for us. And it could be something like that for you if you're looking to reach more people globally. So that's one of the reasons why I actually agreed to take on this sponsored video here. So let's just dive in. I'm going to go through how you actually sign up, set up the plugin, and how easy it is to use and get started with it. So what you would need to do is hit start free trial right here. And I've actually already done that. And it's going to send you an email and you'll have to verify it. And then you'll get directed to this page with your API key right here. And I want to show you something in regards to that. So over here, it will tell you a bunch of different places that you can use this API key. So if you see right here, WordPress, Shopify, Big Convert, Big Commerce, Jimdo, JavaScript, Wix, Laravel, Symphony, PHP, Drupal, October CMS, and Connect right here out of this list. I'm going to be using WordPress, obviously, because I'm WPWithTom.com on this site, and it is a WordPress-related tutorial. But there's a lot of different options here. And it says you can reach out to them if you need help with this process. So you would want to select WordPress in this case, if that's what you're going to be using it for, or Shopify, if that's what you're using it. I'm assuming those are the most common ones. And then let's just go back over here. And it will actually go step by step through the process of setting it up and how to get started. If this video isn't helpful for you or if you're more of a reading person, this does have the steps right here to go through 
step by step to get this all set up. So I've actually already set this up on a basic Astra starter site type website here and I'm going to get it started here with translating this site. So what we'll need to go is to go to plugins here, add new, then I'm just going to search for Weglot and here it is the first one you can see it has almost a perfect rating with over 20,000 active installs at this time I'm gonna click install activate and then it's going to tell me that I need to configure this with the API key that they have so let's just go to Weglot configuration page here and then I ask for your API key so I'm gonna go back over here scroll up and get this API key here and you can also copy it right here go back to the dashboard and I'm just gonna paste in the key here so then I'm gonna also select my original language which is gonna be English and in this case I'm going to go to Portuguese so here we go Portuguese which is Brazilian Portuguese and I'll just hit save changes and now it says well done your website is now multilingual and if we want to, we can go to the front page and view it, but it also says next step, customize the language button as you want and manually edit your translations directly in Weagle Out Account. And I'm going to go through that process. So we can scroll down here and it gives you a button preview. So the language button design will look like this in the button preview. If you want to, you can change how it looks. You can make it shinier. You can make it square. You can make it circle. I kind of like the circle in a way, but I think it looks a little weird for the English one. I'm going to go with the rectangular. I think that looks more like the flag, so maybe it's a little bit easier for people to recognize. I think the default might be the best option here. And you can actually do it without flags as well by just doing that. But I think it's more helpful to actually see that visual flag right there. So something that we can do right here is go to where it says Appearance Menus, and we can put that in the actual menu itself by clicking on this and let's just go through that process if we scroll down here we're gonna have this Weglot switcher on here now let's just click on that and add it to the menu and it's gonna be added to the last position by default you can actually go and rearrange that if you want it somewhere else I think it kind of makes sense here at the last position and I'm just gonna click save menu and now if we go over to the site let's refresh it and see right here at the end that has the op options for English and Portuguese right here at the end. So let's just change this to be Portuguese and let's watch the magic happen before our eyes. And it tells us right here in Portuguese. And my Portuguese is pretty broken, but I at least understand enough just from being around my wife and her family. And Nova Jersey makes sense for New Jersey as far as that goes. So I know that translation is correct. And if we scroll down, this says contact today and that makes sense as well in Portuguese so I can understand at least some of this is correct once I actually do look at the website itself and see some of these changes and if I want to go back I can just switch right back and here it does say contact today and New Jersey for example for these more simple words to translate that I at least know off the top of my head so that's how you would add it to the menu itself now let's say you maybe have a crowded menu or you don't want it to be added into the menu well, what you could do in that case is you could actually go back here and then let's just go down to Weglot right here on, let's go to the plugin section actually, and then we'll go down to Weglot settings here. And we can also add it somewhere else. We can take it out of the menu for one, but we can also add it to the appearance widgets. So now we're, if we scroll down through here, we're going to have this Weglot translate. And what I'll do from here is just drag this up. And I'm going to put it at the top of my main sidebar for like blog posts and stuff like that. So it automatically saves. And when we go back over to the actual site itself and we click on blog, let's just go to a blog post and we can go to read more. So now we have the Weglot widget here on the site. And if we want to, you can just click on here and translate it very easily. Now it is a little bit difficult because the actual translation is going to be going from lorem ipsum in this case. It won't work right. But if you had a regular English text here in the post, you could easily translate that to be Portuguese. So if you want to get rid of that, it's really easy to do. You can just remove it or delete it from the widget area itself. And if we go back over here and we go back and it will not be there anymore once we delete the cache, now it's gone. So 
That's how you can add it as a widget for blog posts or something like that. If you like write a lot of blog posts that you might be catering to different audiences, that could be a great thing to have or even like product reviews or something like that for an e-commerce type website that would really come in handy in that case. So that is how you would have it added it in your menu and also you can add it in as a widget as well. Another thing that I wanted to point out with this before I wrap it up is you can actually change it so the href language tags are automatically added to your source code. Now this happens and it helps Google to realize that you're translating these pages or they are translating pages. And you can also have it set up so it will translate the post or page name as well. So let's just go to publications here and I'm just going to hit Portuguese and see if it happens. And now we have PT slash publications at the top. So it did translate it and you can see right here it's publications in Portuguese instead of publications in English. So it is pretty interesting to see how it translates the pages here on the website as well and that is friendly for SEO purposes search engine optimization and is something that you should be aware of and it's a huge benefit that they have with Weglot here. So there's a lot of different benefits that you can get from using Weglot itself. If you also want to go back and click my website and you can view your website here right in this area and what you can do is you can see the free trial and you can see how many days are remaining in this case I'm using a free trial if not you can check out other plans and what your current plan is there you can see how many words you've used on your website human translations and what percentage that is and the number of languages that you're using there's also a whole lot of other information in here if we go down to translations list let's check that out and here it gives you a good idea of what has been automatically translated for you so if we go down here it says my blog my wordpress blog and this says meal blog and I know that means my in Portuguese so I know that word is correct and then it says again meal right here and that makes sense in Portuguese now if you're not sure if these translations are good what you can actually do is you can go down to where it says professional translations on the left side and you can actually pay for someone to translate your website or check the translations for your website now I'm going to say that the majority of the time these translations are going to be correct but if you really are unsure you really want to make sure that these are the correct translations you could hire someone to do these professional translations for you there's also translation tools here on the left side there's a visual editor section as well and it has some tips and gives you the option to start editing right in there and then you can look at different statistics as well in this area so there's lots of different options within this dashboard itself I'm actually going to log out and just go over the pricing one more time so if we go back to the Weglot homepage here we go to pricing you can see that there's a lot of different options now I would recommend that you try it out with this trial or free option here to see how you like it and then you can dive into bigger and better options if you'd like with something like a starter business pro enterprise or corporate plan now they do have options here for yearly where you get two months free or you can pay by month if you want to kind of grow as your business grows I think it's a great option that they have both of these choices for people out there depending on what kind of scenario you're in whether you're an established company or just starting out but I really think a lot of people are going to end up going for these pro or higher once their company or their business is more established online especially if it's more of a global company because you can get unlimited translated languages you can get translated up to a million words done and if you have some big e-commerce site or something like that that would be almost ideal and this would pay for itself very easily and very quickly each month or year depending what setup you have if it's a big site like that so overall I see this as a really good plugin with a lot of real-world applications available for it when you think about things like online businesses and stuff like that so I hope this tutorial was helpful and this was a good overview again this was a sponsored video or a sponsored review by Weglot I really appreciate them letting me check out this plug and I think it really is an interesting one and I see a lot of real world application with it so I hope you decide to check it out I'm gonna have links in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself and I hope you have a wonderful day thanks for viewing